Hello and welcome, I'm Adam with Pushy Envelope, the channel that gives you everything artificial intelligence and machine learning. Today we're going to be covering another basic machine learning model and that is the random forest algorithm. Now the random forest algorithm is one of the more common machine learning models and you'll definitely see it a lot when you start steering away from things like neural networks that is. And it's definitely something useful for your tool belt when you start looking at data and needing to apply machine learning models to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and learn what random forest is, how it works, and how we can use it. Okay, to start off our journey with random forests, we need to understand the fundamental building block of the random forest algorithm, and that is going to be decision trees. If you haven't heard of decision trees before, I have another tutorial that dives into what decision trees are and how we can use them. I'll link to it now, definitely check that out. But the decision trees are used by mapping features down to their predicted classes using conditions. And it comes up with some structure that looks like this. And now why is this important to random forest? Well, random forest uses decision trees to make its decision and it uses a lot of them. So let's go ahead and jump over to what a random forest algorithm is. Now, if we have some original data represented by our database right here, we can go ahead and take that data and split it out into individual subsets of that data. And then those subsets are fed into their own decision tree. Now, obviously, since not all the data is being fed into these individual decision trees, they're not going to be able to predict everything and they're going to be very weak learners. But that's not the intent of Random Forest. Random Forest is trying to create a whole bunch of these weak learners so that they can all be put together in a bagging fashion or in machine learning, this is also called an ensemble where all of these outputs are put together and then put into a voting system in order to figure out which is the final predicted class. So for instance, in this case, we have the majority vote of the purple class, which would be the output for the random forest algorithm. Now you can make as many trees as you want within the forest, and you can make those decision trees as big or as small as you want them to be. And that's sort of the art of the random forest algorithm is kind of figuring out uh, how big you want your forest to be and how big you want those trees to be within it. But in general, this is how random forest works and how we can use it to make predictions. So I'm gonna be using this uh, for a bunch of other different videos. And probably the first one we'll do is the Titanic data set. So definitely go check out that series so that you can see this in action. If you got anything from this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks.